So we will stay with a related matter. And the warning here this afternoon is that we might experience, you know, shortage in petroleum products. And here's why. Members of the Ghana National Petroleum Tankers Drivers Union, you know, they've declared an indefinite sit down strike demanding improved conditions of service. Now, according to the drivers, an agreed policy uh, framework aimed at enhancing their salaries and other workings of condition has been on the table of the National Petroleum Authority Board since November 2023. Now, despite several efforts to get it approved, the aggrieved drivers say the MPA board has refused to vote on it for it to be implemented. For, for it to be implemented. Now, George Nyanu is chairman of the Ghana National Petroleum Tanker Drivers Union. And he says that a petition was sent to the presidency for the policy framework approval, which he says is here to get a response. We would like to take this opportunity to emphasize that this action of our drivers is driving our desire to protect Ghana investment and jobs. And it's our wish there will be an amicable resolution to as age our concerns. Therefore, the two weeks ultimatum given has elapsed as we speak now. We are in third week. Ladies and gentlemen, tanker drivers cannot wait any further. Therefore, from today, we are putting our tools down until MPA board approves the implementation of the framework. So George Nyano is chairman of the Ghana National Petroleum Tankers Drivers Union, and he joins me via Zoom. As we explore this and the ramification it will have on sale of petrol and other petroleum products on the market. Mr. Nyano, you welcome to the pause. And I mean, I, I, clearly you are frustrated with the way things are with the MPA and government in implementing what you agreed on. So you are left with no option to, the, to declare strike action. Is it the case that the MPA and the other bodies are not forthcoming in addressing your concerns? Yeah. So we're trying, we're, we're trying to establish co a connection with him. Mr. Nyanu, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Great. So I was saying that clearly taking this decision at this time probably uh, I mean, amplifies the frustration you've been through because you are not getting the needed response. Is it a case that the MPA and government, they've been foot dragging on this matter, pushing you to take this very, you know, uh, serious decision to strike and not to work? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, authorities have pushed us so far. But uh, clearly speaking, MPA as a whole is not having a problem with us. Right. MPA. M MPA accepted the framework, but it's rather the board of MPA who are saying some of the OMCs that are owing their own troll, have their own troll. Mm. They wrote petition against the framework and therefore they cannot approve it. That is the issue on the ground now. So tell me, what is contained in this policy framework that you agreed with government or MPA and is now awaiting approval of the board. Walk us through what is contained in this and how that helps you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, honestly, we are Ghanaians, we are workers of this country. And every worker in this country need to earn salary at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. As I speak to you, way back 2017, which uh, the, His Excellency Nana Dudankwa Kwadu gave directive to MPA by then uh, chief executive of MPA is uh, Mr. Hassan Tampuli. Right. And then then uh, energy minister, Honorable uh, Ajabwachi Ajakon, then. And he directed them to go and then solve our problem as we called on him at the Jubilee House. Mm. Doing that, uh, Honorable Jacob did not last on the seat and he exit. Uh, After he exit, we fought, 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 we couldn't do anything. Uh, and Mr. Nyadu, what was the problem? The problem is about drivers' uh, condition of service. 
when I make condition of service that our salary, mainly our salary, mm. and uh, senate, our salary, senate, and condition of service. But you are not public sector workers, are you? Come again? You, you are not public sector workers. Is that not the case? Yes. So but, why, 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 why did you involve the government in addressing the issues of salaries and conditions of service at the time when you are not public sector workers? Okay, thank you so much. Yes, we know we are not public sector workers, but uh, in, in the petroleum downstream, we were recognized as a major stakeholders. Right. We were recognized as a major stakeholders. And when you look at the job that we do, we were rectified as hazardous drivers. Mm. Hazard, we carry hazardous products across the country. Despite we were not uh, uh, public sector workers, we were rec rec recognized as a major stakeholders. So uh, authorities need to attend to our welfare because you can bear with me, a job that we do uh, is like a, a military job. Mm. Okay? Yes, you can tell your family, I'm going to come, and you can remain there, you will not come back. So we do not see the reason why we do this risky job without earning salary and then senate and all those uh, uh, facilities. So we appeal to the government. Mm -hmm. And then, clearly speaking, uh, in the UPPF price builder. Right, right, please go on. Driver's percentage, so far as drivers are hazardous, your yeah, driver's percentage are factored into the UPPF fleet which is supposed to be given to them at the end of the month, according to the work that you've done. Right. Are you getting me? Yes, I'm getting you. Yes. But the fact that transporters engage drivers, mm -hmm. this money is given to the transporters to pay to their drivers at the end of every month per the work that has been done. And you wanted that change? No, 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 not that we wanted that. Something happened, and that is the reason why we want the change. All right. We wish the transporters continue paying the drivers as it is. Mm. But as I speak to you, we, we appear to have been connection issues with Mr. Nyanu. We are Ghanaians. Yes. End up, uh, yes, some of them end up not paying drivers at all. Some of them decide what to be given to the driver. So, Mr. Nyanu, you wanted to fix this and issue. On table. Right. Or end up giving what they want to the driver on table. Mm. So, we have seen clearly that it will not help. Because tanker drivers, some of them are aging. When they get old, when they get to go to retirement, they go home empty-handed. You will see them maybe begging on the street. And we see that, no, a hazardous worker in this country or in the industry mm. cannot go home empty-handed. So what was the recommendation then? Let, let us find a solution to solve that problem. And what did you propose? So, come again? What did you propose to fix this, this problem? Yes. Uh, so during Peter, Honorable Peter Mewu time, we sent the petition to... With, uh, the president, and we were directed to see the, uh, the Honorable Minister, Energy. Mm. So he said, no, if that is the case, a pool should be created so that driver's salary or driver's money will be put in the pool so that we use the pool to take care of the drivers. Right. So that we can separate drivers imagine from transporters' margin, okay. which we agree. So uh, uh, the ch new chief executive, Mr. Mustafa, Dr. Mustafa came and then constituted a committee on it. Mm. We have sat down for six months, including all, involving all the stakeholders. A framework is draft and signed just for implementation to take effect from last year, November. And as I speak to you today, still... That there's not been any movement. My, my understanding the is still lying down without implementation. But my understanding is that some of the OMCs are against your proposal. The reason why this is stalling. Yes. And what? we are saying, you know, in the sector, 
We have Tanker Owners Union. Mm -hmm. So irrespective of whoever owns Tanker in the country is directly under the Tanker Owners Union. So if Tanker Owners Union, 100% of Tanker Owners Union agreed to the framework, mm -hmm. and some of the OMCs who are owing their own trucks at the same time fall under the Tanker Owners Union, will stand and kick against the framework. And that is the challenge that we are having. So, so, now, so now, until the board of MPA sit on this matter, you cannot have any decision. Is that the case? Yes. You see, we are ready to work and serve the country because we are Ghanaians. We use fuel as well. But what we were told by MPA, okay, that everything is done, but because of the petition raised against the framework by some of the OMCs, mm. the board of directors of MPA also refused to approve finally to start work. So why don't you continue to dialogue with the relevant parties to address the concerns raised by the OMC instead of taking this hardline action of embarking on a strike? Okay, thank you. Yes, we have dialogued severally. With, after that, even MPA gave us a deadline of one month to go and sit down with the transporters and the OMC mm. and come back to them. Mr. Yanu, I think your 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 connection. The court is going right. I called to find out what is happening. Time is running faster. The time MPA gave us is getting nearer. They gave us one month. Before I realized, I was told he traveled outside, mm -hmm. and I called him to confirm is he in the country, and he told me he traveled outside the country to seek a medical uh, attention. Now, he knows very well that we have issue at hand. So if you are traveling, the people that you are having issue with to address, what are you supposed to do? You have to inform them. But he did not inform us till I called him. Mm. All right? So we, 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 we try all possible best. And they pay because they have money past us. They are our boss, bosses. And there's nothing we can do. So, uh, yeah, we are, we are having connections issue, but there's a very important uh, question. Uh, 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 last month, right. uh, uh, a press release. Right. Yes, a press release, and we gave them two weeks that we won't respond to our issue. We gave them two weeks without hearing from them, we will advise ourselves. As I talk to you today, the two weeks and last, we even sit down for another week, making three weeks plus. Aside that, on the 7th of May this month, mm. we wrote a, a petition to the president that he is the first gentleman of the land. This is where we are rich. We have read. So if you come to our aid, as I speak to you now, we did not hear respond from the president as well. Whether the petition has got to his table or not, we don't know. And clearly speaking, we are tired. And so, as I speak to you, mm -hmm. the same transporters and OMC who are kicking against this, Sometimes they end up arresting our drivers to police station. We make a follow up and arrest a, 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 a bail them based on shortages and all those things. And the poll is saying now, no burden will be on transporter so far as shortage is concerned. All right. The poll will take care if indeed a driver had a shortage and investigation is conducted and find out that the shortage is really coming from the driver, the NPA will deal with the driver. Mr. Janu, so, so you are thinking against this. But Mr. Janu, let what me ask you, let, let's look at the, the implications of your action. You are transporting petroleum products. You say that effective immediately. You are not doing that work any longer. What will be the implications of this action that you have taken today? Okay, thank you. I, I, I'll be very grateful if, uh, excuse me to say, if you can ask yourself, if a, 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 a worker work at the end of the month without getting salary, what would be the implication to him? This is a national security issue. Because if, if, if we have shortages... Okay, national security issue. Who are the national security? Are we, not the, are we not part of national security? Tanker drivers are not part of national security. Is their safety not needed? Their welfare not needed? 
And so, fuel shortage is likely going to be the effect of this action you've taken. You've looked at it. We have worked with empty stomach for so. Long, respectfully respect our own. Take time, relax. We will assist you. We will handle it. We will do it. As I said, from 2017, the city president gave directives that some people to attend to us. And as I look, as I speak to you now, some of tanker drivers in this country take 300 Ghana cities a month on table without paying snit. Can you imagine this, my brother? So again, back to my question. If this continues, if there's no intervention, what is going to happen is that in, in, in few days or weeks to come, we are likely to experience fuel shortages. And that is because you've decided to embark on a strike to protest against what you describe as poor working conditions. But you also do understand that you work for people. The trust belong to uh, your bosses. I mean, have you considered the fact that it may, it may have far more implications for you and your members if your boss decides that, okay, you are on strike, let me take my truck and give it to someone else to, to drive it. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, if a transporter decides to take his truck and give it to another driver, fair enough. Are you, are you saying the incoming driver who is coming to drive, is he coming to drive for free? Please. You just answer my question. I agree. They mm. bought their truck. They, can, they have ever right to say, we should put the trucks down. All right? Mm. You are telling me, or Ghanaians will bear with me, that the incoming driver who is coming to take over the truck as new driver, is he coming to work for free? All right. And, and, and since you announced this action this morning, has there been any response from MPO or the government? Not yet. Okay. We are ready to work as far as authorities arise, okay, and approve our framework. Okay, mm. we are going to go. We are not here to sabotage anybody. That's why I said the sitting president currently even go give go ahead to authorities' concern to take care and address our issue. You can find out from the president if I'm lying. All right, Mr. George Nandu, thank you. We don't, you. Know, we don't know why some people try to at least sit down. Look, before you go, let me tell let me give you some one signal. Right, 2020, during 2019, 2020, during COVID-19, tanker drivers, okay, mm. were, were tagged as essential drivers in the country to work, okay? Mm. Because if tanker drivers sit down, the country will run out of petroleum product. Right. Though we have COVID-19. After COVID-19, we were told a national cake had been shared by the president among those essential driver and workers. Ask and find out today as I speak to you, where is the share of tanker drivers? You didn't get anything. Find out. We'll, we'll verify that, Mr. George. Mr. George Nanu is chairman of the Tanker Drivers Association of Ghana. And the news this afternoon is that they've embarked on a strike action in protest against what they describe as poor working conditions. The implication of their action is that if this is not addressed immediately, we are likely to experience fuel shortages across the country because their main job is to transport fuel products from Tema or any of the bulk storage plants across the country to every part of the country. And today they say that they are poorly paid they are working conditions, nothing to write home about. They, they, they wrote a petition, a policy framework was developed. MPA is sitting on it because the board has yet to approve of it because of some concerns raised by some uh, OMCs. This is a matter that will, will stay on and bring you any development that may arise. <laughs>